A key Egyptian mediator expressed skepticism about reaching a ceasefire deal as more details about the proposal emerge. On Wednesday, Hezbollah fired over 50 rockets towards the Israel-controlled Golan Heights, claiming it was a retaliation for Tuesday's strike by Israel on Lebanon. The attack came after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with key mediators from Egypt and Qatar to press ahead with a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. Blinken said time is of the essence as fear of further escalation grows. An Egyptian official with direct knowledge of the negotiations says the deal offers promises instead of guarantees and that Hamas would not accept this. For example, the deal states Hamas must release hostages in the first phase. Parties would only then negotiate the following phases. The official says this means Hamas would release civilian hostages in return for a pause of fighting with no guarantee for a permanent ceasefire. The proposal also doesn't clearly say Israel will withdraw from the two strategic corridors in Gaza. Mediators are scheduled to meet on Thursday and Friday in Cairo for more talks on the proposal before submitting it officially to Hamas.